All right. So, in the last class, we learned some more ideas about matrix multiplication, and we also saw that the matrix product is associative, and it nicely behaves with transpose, conjugate transpose, a scalar multiplication, and matrix sum. All right. So, let us look at examples to have a better understanding of things, some questions. All right. So, questions. Suppose, I have been given that. So, given. So, I have got. To, so, A and B are m cross n matrices and you have been given that A times x is same as B times x for all x belonging to R n. So, R n means it has n components. So, x looks like x 1, x 2, x n. So, I have been given this fine. So, what you are saying that A x is equal to B x for all x belonging to R n. Does this imply that A is equal to B? That is the question. So, the answer to this is answer. Now, what we know is that if I look at A times this vector 1 0 0 0 all right, then this is same as. So, if you want to write it you can write it as a column. So, because that is the way we need to write here second column, the last column times 1 0 0 and therefore, this turns out to be 1 times the first column, 0 times the second column, so on till 0 times the last column. So, it is nothing but the first column itself fine. Now, we have been given that a times x is also equal to b times x. So, in this example x is our 1 0 0 vector. So, again if I write b as in terms of columns all right and we are multiplying it by the same vector 1 0 0 again it is same as 1 times the first column 2 0 times the second column and so on. So, I do get back the first column all right. So, what we see is that these two the first column of a is sub is same as the second column of b fine just by multiplying replacing x by the vector 1 0 0 0 which we as I said it is nothing but e 1 for us. So, we wrote x as e 1 here to get the first column of a is same as the second column of the, the first column of b. Similarly, if I replace x by e 2 we can see that. So, what is e 2 recall e 2 is 0 1 0 so on size n cross 1. So, that matrix multiplication makes sense. So, this will imply that. So, given condition that A x is equal to B x all right. So, will imply that the second column of A is same as second column of B and therefore, we can keep replacing E 1 by E 2 E 3 go on till E n and get that all the columns of A are equal to all the columns of corresponding columns of B and therefore, the two matrices are equal fine. So, this I wanted you to see the use of this matrix product there is a clarity between things all right. Then I would like you to look at this example now the next example again an example which will be used quite frequently that suppose I have a matrix A which is upper triangular and B or let us let it be this and given that given A times A transpose is same as A transpose A. From there can I conclude that A has so, so given that this is equal to this can I conclude from here that A is a diagonal matrix all right. So, let us compute the 1 1 entry on both the sides. So, A for me is going to look like. So, let me do it for 2 cross or say 3 cross 3 matrix A 1 1 A 1 2 A 1 3 0 A 2 2 A 2 3 0 0 A 3 this is your A. So, A transpose will be a lower triangular matrix a 1 1, 
a 1 2 a 1 3 0 a 2 2 a 2 3 0 0 a 3 3. So, if I multiply a a transpose, if I look at a a transpose, the 1 1 entry of that, the 1 1 entry of a a transpose will be a 1 1 square plus a 1 2 square plus a 1 3 square. All right. The 2 2 entry will be a 2 2 square plus a 2 3 square and the last entry here 3 3 will be a 3 3 square. The rest of the entries I am not bothered about for the time being. If I look at a transpose a, a transpose a, then it will be the first row of a transpose times the first column of a and therefore, it will be a 1 1 square itself. So, if I compare the two sides, so I have been given that a times a transpose is same as a transpose a. So, the, that 1 1 entries are also the same. So, the entry of 1 1 entry of this is same as 1 1 entry of this because they are same is supposed to be equal. So, therefore, what I get is here is that a 1 1 square plus a 1 2 square plus a 1 3 square is same as a 1 1 square and which is nothing but which tells me that a 1 2 square plus a 1 3 square will be 0 and when is the sum of two positive numbers 0 when both of them are 0 or sum of two non negative numbers recall that a i j I have taken it to be a real number. So, a square of a real number is either 0 or positive and therefore, this implies that and gets implied that a 1 2 is 0 is equal to a 1 3. So, therefore, these two entries of a are 0 fine. Similarly, if I look at the a 2 2 entry of a a transpose 2 2 entry on both the sides, I would like you to see that that will imply that a 2 3 is 0 and therefore, what we are left out with a matrix which is a diagonal matrix. All right. Now, let us look at another idea what is called how do I construct certain matrices with certain property. So, suppose I want, want to construct a 2 cross 2 matrix matrix satisfying a square is a all right. So, I want such a thing want to construct a 2 cross 2 matrix I can replace 2 cross 2 by 3 cross 3 or anything fine and I would like to this we are not saying here that I want to have some nice properties that is the symmetric sq symmetric and so on I just want a square is a and such matrices have a special name they are called idempotents. All right. So, what we are doing here is I have got a here, I am multiplying a with a and I want a fine. I want a which is 2 cross 2, I can think of a as coming from a vector alpha beta times a b. So, if you look at this, this matrix is of size 2 cross 1, this is of size 1 cross 2. So, a is now 2 cross 2 fine. So, for example, I can take a as say 1 2 2 3 fine. So, this gives me a matrix which is. So, if I look at this it is 2 3 times 4 and 6. So, I have got this matrix A for us fine, but what I need is I need A square equal to A. So, if I write A square here. So, for this matrix if I write A square the general setup A square will be alpha beta times a b times alpha beta a b. So, now if I look at the associativity of matrix product, I have got alpha beta here times a b into alpha beta times a b. So, if I look at this, this is a 1 cross 1 matrix. So, this is a scalar for us 
since this is color, I can take it out. Fine. So, if I see now this part, the first part and the last part, they are nothing but they are giving me A itself. So, if if I can choose, so if we choose this product A B times alpha beta to be equal to 1, then A square will be same as alpha beta times A B, which will be A. Fine. So, in this example that I looked at, in place of choosing 2, 3, I can choose it in such a way that this product is 1. So, for example, I can choose my A to be is equal to, so let me take the first one as it is. I want to choose it in such a way that their product is 1. So, how do I choose it? There are a lot of ways of choosing it. I can take it as 1 upon 5, 2 upon 5 here for example. So, for example, if I look at 1 upon 5, 2 upon 5 times 1, 2. So, it will be 1 upon 5 plus 4 upon 5 which is 1 or I can take it as 1, 0. I could have taken it as 0 comma half. So, there are a lot of ways I can choose these things. All right. So, what we are saying is that given alpha beta to me, all right, I have. So, if I want to choose a b such that this is 1 means that we have got infinite number of solutions. All right. So, this idea is that I can construct matrices which have a square equal to a all right idempotents. Finally, we will see that we will need also some symmetric part of that that will come afterwards, but even if you do not want symmetric you can see that there are infinite number of ways you can construct such matrices. Whether it is 2 cross 2, 3 cross 3 the basic idea being that some product has to be 1 that is all nothing more than that all right. So, you have to understand these small small ideas when we want to construct matrices, when we want to deal with matrices that it is the each row or each column of the matrix which plays very very important role for us all right. So, the last part about this matrix product that I would like you to understand now is this example all right example again. So, I have a matrix A and I have a matrix B matrix product is meaningful for me. So, n cross p suppose. So, I want to ask this question suppose I know that the first row of A is same as the third row of A. Suppose they are equal. Then can I say that from here that look at A B the first row of A B will this be equal to the third row of A B that is the question fine. The answer is yes. The answer is yes basically because if you remember this is nothing but the first row of A B is first row of A times B and we have been given that the first row of A is same as the third row of A that is the given condition and which is this and again by matrix product we get this. So, this part is given hypothesis and this part is and this part they are coming from matrix product all right. Similarly, if I have been given column suppose that so this was one I have been given that suppose the first column of B is same as the second column of B. So, this is I would like you to try that that the first column of A B will be equal to the second column of A B. Again so, important thing is when I want to look at the rows it is the matrix A which is on the left which is playing the role and if I want to look at the columns it is the matrix B which is playing the role which appears on the right. So, matrix product means if I want to play with the rows all right I need to look at doing something on A. 
so that I can play with the rows of B, fine. And if I want to play, understand columns, I have to look at columns of A to is to be played, and I have to multiply B on the right, fine. The last example here will be, suppose I have been given that the third row of A is same as five times the first row of A plus two times the second row of A, all right. What can I say about the third row of A B? What can we say? about the third row of A B, all right. Again, so let us recall, if I want to look at the third row of A B, then by matrix product is in nothing but the third row of A times B and therefore, I get this part coming into play here times B. So, I will get it as 5 times this plus 2 times this, which is nothing but 5 times the first row of A B plus 2 times the second row of A B. All right. So, similarly, we will have corresponding to columns. So, what we are trying to say here is that, if by chance, if by looking at it, we see that some row of A is combination of certain things of some of certain other rows of A itself, then there is a relationship between the final product as far as A B is concerned. All right. So, if I know that there are columns of B, which have nice properties that I can see that they have zeros or there is some sort of combination between them that I can get one from the others, then in A B also the same property will hold. All right. So, that is all for today as per matrix multiplication is concerned. In the next class, we will look at invertibility of a matrix. How do I compute the inverse of a matrix? Thank you.